Welcome back everyone. So this past few weeks, I had some time to design a new wave of custom accessories for the Crown Knights, by which of course I'm referring to the original faction that came in the Yellow Castle set way back in 1978. Online, they're usually referred to simply as the Classic Knights, because they have been many iterations of the Crown faction since then. But I believe only the latest redesign seen with the CMF-23, the Knight of the Yellow Castle, to be a direct homage to the original Crown Knights. Effectively, this means that the Crown Knights boasted both the oldest and newest castle print right until the Falconer made an appearance in CMF-24. These days, the Crown Knights seem to be on friendly terms with the Lion Knights based on their shield being proudly represented in the castle dining hall alongside a couple other familiar sigils. Now, you can take it as LEGO simply creating an easter egg moment for classic LEGO fans, or you can take it literally like me and write this into my own canon. I like to think of the Crown Knights as a formerly dominant kingdom, which over time whittled down into a small group. There seem to be hints of their former glory, like how many modern sets seem to imply that these gold coins with the crown stamps on them are the main currency in circulation. I think due to their small numbers though, they formed an alliance with the Lion Knights as a mean to preserve their faction and bolster their strength. In my displays, the Crown Knights make themselves comfortable within the Lion's castle walls. Now, I don't own the original, but here with the CMF Knight, you can see that the modern iteration mutes some of the vibrant tones, opting for this pink and sand blue colors, which I think was a tasteful choice. By the way, I came across this book on Amazon. It's basically like a physical version of Bricklink, and I'll attach a link to it below if you're interested in getting a copy. So starting with a staple, and one that you may remember from my previous episode, here's a typical breastplate with a crown sigil. Feel free to check out that video if you want to see how I designed and printed this particular piece. So here's a brand new design that I've been working on behind the scenes. This takes direct inspiration from the classic knight minifig, which had on this very basic armor piece, which I've interpreted as a tabard or a surcoat of some kind. So I applied this wavy texture to it to imply that it's not a metal plate. This piece is complemented by a waist element that extends the cloth a little further down to complete the full look. Here's a slight modification to the waist piece that adds a scabbard on the side. I didn't really plan on designing this because LEGO already has a scabbard piece, but I decided to make one that worked with the waist cape. Okay, so going back up a little bit, here's a new shoulder armor design made specifically for this faction. It's a little less rounded and a little less organic in form compared to my previous versions, and I think this will set the Crown Knights apart. And I think a lot of you guys will recognize this classic visor piece. This one is remodeled a little bit so that it can fit in a modern motorcycle helmet as opposed to the classic space helmet. Finally, here's what I consider the centerpiece to this video. This is my attempt at creating a salad style helmet and visor combo. This is of course poseable and compatible with other helmets that I've designed, as well as with the LEGO motorcycle helmet, thanks to the similar hinge design. This is a mace head that I designed and is compatible with any bar element. So here's everything assembled together, and like I said, these guys are one of the oldest factions in the castle theme, so I wanted to make a set of accessories that in one way or another tied back to the classic look. In due time, I'll make some of these elements available on my store. What makes the cutter or not is simply dependent on what I can reliably print consistently, and whether it is durable enough to be consumer friendly. Also, I appreciate everyone who checked out my store that opened last week, and my personal thanks goes out to everyone who bought something. And the same goes for this channel. I've been able to grow quite rapidly thanks to everyone here liking, commenting, and subscribing. You guys are the foundation of my channel, so I hope to keep producing good content for you guys. And anyone else who's new, I post about custom accessories I design and print, and also plan to talk about the castle theme in general down the line. So with the Crown Knights wrapped up, I'm open to new suggestions as to what faction I should cover next. If you have any ideas, feel free to comment them below and I'll take a look. And as a little thank you to everyone who stuck around till the end of this video, here's a little discount code that you can use in my store, it'll be available for the next week. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.